what are you doing when you're merging organizations with people? How are you sharing and hoping that they catch your vision? What are the what are some of the things that you do to share your vision with to build the culture that you have at Stuckey's today? So it's an evolving process. For us, since we bought a company that had been around since 1935 and had a strong sense of history already, I did not want to come in there saying, well, Stuckey's is in town and we own the place and ram our vision and our company history down their throat. So it's been two years since we bought the company and it's still a process. So initially it was just listening and we're still listening. And we just hired a new person whose job in part will be related to culture and employee engagement. And so I've got him conducting interviews with the team members and getting their honest feedback on how the company could make them feel like they belong and happier. What's going to, what are their issues? So he's got questions that he's going to ask each of them. That's going to be kept anonymous. Yep. And then we're going to take that and that will help inform how we grow the culture. And so I think it's not just my vision. What's our shared vision? It's to get that buy-in. And certainly I have a sense of what where, where we need to take the company, but you can't take it unless you've got people who are part of that journey with you. So it's a process. I think it's listening first and foremost. And then knowing that their input is what's going to drive what we're putting for. So we're, we're still in the process. I mean, of course we have a strategic plan and we have a vision statement and mission statement, all the stuff that's required for your financing. And, you know, we have a strategic plan, but as we grow and we've got a bigger team, we've got to get buy-in on that. And buy-in starts with listening. So we're going to listen and then we're going to start evolving from there. And we've, we've got lots of big plans. Ask me in a year, because I think um, our culture is going to really start taking off after we start finish doing our listening session rounds. The fact that you understand that culture is the foundation of your growth is yeah. fabulous. We I like to look at it as the culture is the foundation of the house that you build um, or the business that you build. The two walls are you know, looking at it from the um, cohesiveness, is the team honest with each other? Do they trust each other? And then it's like, how do we hire? And how do we score? You know, what are the scorecards for people and whatnot? And when you have those walls done, strategy and execution kind of just starts coming together for you faster and more furious. So good for you. I really love that you, I mean, you've, you've dug into all of the things you, you are a textbook lesson in, you know, good to great. And, you know, Patrick Lencioni's five dysfunctions of a team. You're talking about all of the things that need to be there. I, um, I'll share with you a, a quick story. Two construction companies decided that, you know, the, the, their drawings and the, um, the cab cam people and all the people that did all of the stuff, they were, they were duplicating, the work they were they were friendly competitors in in different businesses but they were their the engineering staff and that would do all the design work there was a lot of overlap um and so they took those two departments and made their own company out of it and now you've got the you've got the you know the the culture of one company clashing with the culture of the other company and it was going on and the, the CEOs were both frustrated because it was not going anywhere as close to the way that they thought. And their business coach said, throw away both of your cultures and go in, pull your leadership team together from the group that's there and yeah. have them create the culture of what the future is going to be. And I thought that was, mm-hmm. that was pretty interesting to, to think about that. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. That's relevant to what we're trying to create and make sure it's something that everyone is co-creating. Yeah. I I, I share that with people all the time. You can create all the vision you want on the planet, but if if it's, I'm telling you what we're going to do, it's not the same as let's link arms and do this together. 